Well, an ultimatum has been issued to suspended NIB director Algernon Cargo, leaving him with two weeks to respond to the recently published NIB audit report. The report came after allegations surfaced involving former NIB chairman Greg Moss and Cargill. Andrew Knowles has more. Suspended NIB director Algernon Cargill has until the end of the month to respond to the NIB audit report. This after Cargill reportedly refused to meet with the board on several occasions to discuss the findings of that report. Well, that didn't sit well with National Insurance Minister Shane Gibson, who noted that the suspended boss is still a paid employee of the board. We wrote him and asked him to um, attend the meeting. He said he was busy. We wrote him back and asked him to attend a meeting on the 21st of May. He, uh, he said he's not available until the 24th of June. We wrote him back and told him he's an employee of National Insurance, and either he show up on the 21st or we'll make a decision in his absence. And so he has between now and the 21st of May to show up, and no stalling will help. All we want him to do is show up to the meeting so, so that he can discuss the contents of the report. Cargill has been on leave since November last year. Minister Gibson lamented Monday over several portions of the report being leaked to the media. However, he revealed Tuesday morning that there were, in fact, two reports produced. One on Greg Moss and one on the Chicago. They're two different reports. So if you see a report and you see anything in reference to Mr. Cargill, you wouldn't see anything in reference to Mr. Moss. They're two separate and distinct reports. Minister Gibson did not want to discuss the details of either reports until their table in the House of Assembly. However, he did say that he wasn't surprised with the report on Moss. I was always um, in contact with National Insurance from the time I was appointed minister last year, me. Um, I knew of everything, well, just about everything that was happening in National Insurance. And um, based on the reports I, I got from day one, um, I was always told that Moss did nothing wrong. I, I, I was always told that. Meantime, Gibson says a full report was sent to Cargill and his attorney Alfred Sayers from last week. Sayers told our news team today, however, that he is only in possession of a portion of the audit report. Nevertheless, he says pending advice from his client, he would respond by Thursday. Gibson believes, though, that Cargill has had enough time to respond. Mr. Cargill responded to every single one of those allegations in the affidavit he filed last year. This is nothing new to him. And so um, he had ample time to study it, to um, come up with his answers and to meet with us so that we can put this whole situation behind. And now all that's left is for Mr. Cargill to respond to the report. And once that happens, the board will then make its decision and send it on to the minister as to the way forward for NIB. As for the cost of the report, Minister Gibson did not want to reveal that figure until he had the exact cost. Andrew Knowles, ZNS Network News.